Sometimes in life, we try to figure everything out. And because we believe that everything or every problem has an answer. And truly, beloved, I believe that to be true. But sometimes in life, God uses disappointments in order to train us that we might become better soldiers for the Lord in this earth. Many times we desire to cast aside disappointments because disappointments can bring hurt, can bring pain, and we don't like to suffer as human beings. But disappointments sometimes can lead us into the direction of knowing the Father even better than we did at one time before. And if we are able to take those disappointments and look at them in the proper perspective, then we can learn how to become a wiser child of the Father. When Jesus Christ was uh, washing the feet of the disciples, Peter asked him this question in John 13, the sixth verse. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, Dost thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou straight thou shalt know hereafter. Some things God does not desire for us to know in a very moment that we might be going through something. Even though we look for answers all over the place, we do our very best to seek wisdom in certain areas. But I want you to know, dearly beloved, sometimes we need to learn how to be still and let God work in our lives. Because when disappointments come in our lives, it is God working and refining us into fine gold. Every attack or everything that come against us, dearly beloved, is not simply the work of Satan to destroy us. Now, God may allow Satan to work in your life, even as when Paul talked about the thorn in his flesh, he said it was a messenger from Satan. He recognized it was a messenger from Satan. But then God, through Jesus Christ, said, My grace is sufficient for thee, for in thy weakness there is strength. You see, when disappointment comes in our lives, it causes us to look toward the hill whence cometh our help. Many believers, many times, never look toward the hills because they look within themselves for the answer. Because if you look at the new gospel that is being preached today, it really teaches you how to look on the inside of you and find that little God, that little spirit, and if you somehow can attach yourself or learn more about it, then you are able then to be able to overcome life. And that is simply not the truth. Because God the Father purposely used disappointments in order to transform us and to put things in our lives that we might know Him in a more intimate manner. God keeps a school for His children here on earth, and one of His best teachers is disappointment. Dear beloved, you may be going through a disappointment today, something you have not been able to figure out. I say to you today, be still, rest in the Lord. Face that disappointment. Don't run away from it. Don't reject it as an attack from Satan and now you have to do everything you can in order to pull that thorn out of your flesh. But rather, allow God to begin to manifest Himself and to refine you into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. Disappointments is not here to discourage you. They're not here to destroy you. They're not even here to take you off the path that you were going, but rather to alert you 
and to make you more wiser. Just imagine if Jesus had taken the road of no disappointments. He would have never walked the path to Calvary. Because through his entire life, it was filled with disappointments. But yet, glory be to God, the Father took him up and said, you are my son. I am well pleased. Let not disappointments today change the direction that you're going in if you're going in the right direction. But rather look upon those disappointments as simply signposts along the road to eternity. God bless you. God keep you this day.